A lot of you already might know about ash dieback, Kalara, and the effects it's having on the British well, and European forests. It's a bit of a deadly disease. It was a, a fungus that lived on the Manchurian ash trees in, in Asia. When we brought it over to Europe, obviously there's no Manchurian ash trees over here, so it jumped species and jumped into the European ash. It's had a bit of a deadly effect. It gets into the leaves and into the stems. Eventually the toxins in the, in the fungus kills the tree. It affects the, the small saplings first. It'll kill them off in a couple of years. Whereas the big ash trees, they'll take you know, seven or eight years. Kills the crowns and eventually lead to other fungus getting into the tree and over time kills them off. It's a shame because I've got quite a few big ash trees in this forest. There's a few signs in this bit of Kalara, which mainly in the areas around this wood. Everywhere you go you seem to see more and more saplings dying. Just come back from the Lake Districts and it's, it's all over there, everywhere you look there's dead ash trees. Yeah, it's going to have a big effect on the UK, it has on continental Europe already. And it's supposed to be the second most popular tree in England, the ash tree, there's uh, over 120 million ash trees in the UK. They say 90%, 85% to 90% is going to be lost over the next 10 20 years. The spores are produced by the, the fungus which lives off the decaying leaves. And when the fungus produces spores in the, in the summer months, these get onto the leaves, attack, attack the leaves. I say the toxin just spreads through the trees, killing the tree. Yeah, then other fungus gets in there, the honey fungus. There's even a an ash boring beetle and get in there and I think that's having a problems in America at the moment. They say that's coming this way. Gets into the tree and again finishes the, the tree off. But unfortunate. I mean the UK everywhere you look as ash trees and the, the motorway edges and the sides of the fields. Yeah, it's gonna have a big big impact on the way the countryside looks, I think. A bit worried. When in forests, there could be good, good benefits, I guess. Forests like this, where it's very dark, the ash trees, although the leaves are quite small, they do let a lot of light through. It will open the the canopy up, and let more light through onto the onto the forest floor, where it'll benefit flowers, bluebells in particular. But I think what will happen in the long term is you just get more sycamore growing more self set sycamore bramble bracken so I think it will be in the long term be quite quite missed in the forest there are some trees that seem to be resistant to the ash dieback I think if a, if those are cultivated and replanted to replace the old trees the long term 40 50 years you don't know they may come back but i think in the short term there'll be a lot of dead trees about which again which will benefit a lot of a lot of birds with a lot of nice nesting sites for birds the forests do need a lot of dead timber a lot of dead wood a lot of insects in particular will benefit from fallen dead wood but I'd be sad to see them go. Got a lot of nice trees in this wood. Seem to grow quick as well, ash trees. And there's not much we can do really. You can't cut them all down because some might be resistant. So you've got to keep them, keep monitoring them. So if you do see any signs, you're supposed to contact the Forestry Commission, let them know. 
let them know if they're in their, your area. They've got a good website and they've got a map of the spread of the disease in the area. Be interested to get some feedback to hear your experiences with cholera, ash dieback. Some parts of continental Europe where it's been devastated. Poland, Norway, Sweden. It's supposed to kill off 90% 90, 90 of ash trees. There are some resistant strains, so maybe they've still got some, some left in your area. The tree's been felled, you have to fell the trees. Or do you leave them for dead standing, for, for nature to, to use them? Yeah, it'd be interesting to get some feedback. I've just come back from the Lake Districts, and a week away in the lakes. There's lots, lots of dead ash in the, in the lakes, young, young ash trees. But there are some larger ones, seem to fare in a bit worse up there. But yeah, give me some, give me some comment, some feedback. Not as much we can do, just monitor it, see what's happening.